Okay, so just to recap, these were my artist inspiration. So I looked at Sue Hanna and I looked at Christy Keeney. Um, and this was my initial design sheet where I was kind of analysing artists' work and starting to think about what I liked and that I liked the distortion and the, the different faces. Um, I planned what I wanted to do, so talking about the different forms and the different shapes, um, drew some out nice and big and then used the photocopier to experiment with creating different colours. Um, it also means that I was able to kind of write into it. So, for example, here, I wanted to think about what goes on the back. So I can have my design here and just start to make some notes. I don't necessarily have um, answers, so it might be plain, it might be textured, um, it might have messages on it. So rather than having a, a portrait, it might be a portrait on one side and messages on the other side. So can, because it's my book and I'm planning, I can make some notes through it to give me some ideas. Um, I've experimented with thinking about different colours. So this was also a photocopy, but then I really like the idea of having all the arrows everywhere to talk through um, the signs and things that I've seen during COVID because it's a bit of an obsession with me. Um, and, and, and I feel quite powerfully about it. And then I've started to collect little pieces of paper that I might want to put onto my work somewhere as part of my design ideas. In my last video, you saw me doing paper mache and just starting to do them. So this piece here has had three layers of paper mache on and it's it's starting to get quite hard, but it needs to have a few more pieces on it just so you can see, but it's quite solid and it stands up quite nicely without falling over. So it's not a bad piece of work. This one um, had the much thicker cardboard on the bottom and this has had only two layers on but it's still very solid. I've got a little bit of a gap here that I need to fix and a little piece around the ear here that I need to fix. I've started to draw my face on and experiment with what happens if I put pieces like that on and I think I don't want the eye obscured but I do like the pattern so I might stick that down and then redraw the eye over the top of it so it's a mixture of paint and colours. All of these are thinking about what's going to happen on in cardboard. These are my final pieces. What I need to do now is to start to think about what I'm going to do for a clay version. And for clay, I'll probably make it a little bit smaller. Then I don't have to worry about it draping. And I'll do that in the next video. In the meantime, I'm going to add another layer here. Add another layer of, of, color, of, of uh, glue and paper mache over the top to make it a little bit harder because it's a bit too squishy and then I'll start to add some colours on and share the results with you.